The Yankees needing a big outing from A.J. Burnett Tuesday after blazing through their pitching staff and even seeing Nick Swisher on the hill the night before. <laughs> Meanwhile, the Rays earning their AL championship rings before the game. Matt Garza, probably not listening to Frank Sinatra, New York, New York, to get ready for this one. And while Garza did pitch well, gives up a homer here to Nick Swisher. Swisher's fourth. He's been on fire for the Yankees. Garza gives up two runs and seven innings, strikes out nine. Not as good as this guy, though. A.J. Burnett was on fire. Aknor Iwamura and D.J. Upton rung up in the sixth. A no-no through six for Burnett, but in the seventh, Carl Crawford able to poke one the other way for the base hit and end the no-no threat. Evan Longoria follows with a single, then Carlos Pena, an RBI base knock. Reigns within one. Pat Furl follows it up, fly ball right field. That'll play to run easily, and the Rays tie things up at two. Burnett works eight innings, giving up two runs on three hits. Top eight, Yankees get one back. Runners on the corners, nobody out. Mark Teixeira to the warning track. In comes Brett Gardner, and the Yankees take the lead against J.P. Howell, 3-2. Ninth inning, this game just gets blown wide open. Brett Gardner, center field. He's not supposed to have that kind of pop to go along with his speed. Ground rule double to the chagrin of B.J. Upton, 4-2 Yankees, and then Derek Jeter, opposite field and gone. A three-run blast puts the wraps on this. 7-2, New York victorious for Jeter, his second home run on the young season. So A.J. Burnett gives the Yankees exactly what they need. Eight solid innings. He is now 2-0 and as the Yankees and Rays have split the first two of the series.